welcome to Thursday. It's Thursday, isn't it? It is. It's the 23rd of December. It's almost Christmas and I'm super duper excited. Um, I had forgotten to stop and speak with you this morning because everything's been a bit rush, rush, rush. Um, we were up early, Dan and I, we went to have our COVID booster vaccine. So that's been done. Got my sticker. <laughs> um, then we went and grabbed a coffee. Oh, my phone just moved. That's not helpful, is it? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to balance you on there. There you go. Um, and then we went and grabbed a coffee and then he had to shoot off to work. Lucky him, because I had to embrace Tesco's on Christmas Eve Eve, which, as you can imagine, was pretty hideous. But I managed to get everything I needed. Not exactly what I wanted, but I just got, you know, something else. They didn't have the pudding that I had wanted to get, but I just found another. Like, it's no big deal. It's just, it's just a glorified roast dinner, right? It's just Christmas Day dinner is just a roast dinner at the end of the day. Everyone's going to get fed. We're not going to starve. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. They had some turkeys. Um, I didn't actually get a turkey. I was planning to get a turkey crown. But I'm a bit of a of a snob, not a snob, but I like nice food, so does Dan. And they only had like Tesco's own branded turkey crowns and they didn't look that nice and they went out they go out of date on Christmas Day and they're just I don't know, it was just a bit iffy. So I did actually go for um a Tesco finest turkey breast kind of joint thing that they've rolled and stuffed and put bacon around I thought do you know what there's only four of us that will be perfect I'd rather pay a little bit extra and that all that hard work be done plus the turkey crowns that they had I'm going on a big turkey tangent here but the turkey crowns that they had didn't have any bacon like streaky bacon over the top and you gotta have bacon on your turkey. So I thought, oh, it's okay, I'll just get a turkey crown and put bacon on the top, and they didn't have any bacon. So, not streaky bacon, anyway. So it was a no-brainer, I had to go for the joint. Hopefully it'll be okay. Um, yeah, there's my turkey tangent. <laughs> I was a bit worried that I'd go today and they wouldn't have any turkey. And Dan's dad didn't care. He was like, oh, I'll just get a chicken, it tastes the same. <laughs> but Dan's mum and I were like, oh, it doesn't really, and you know, it is Christmas, it should be a turkey. But I got a turkey really good about it. I used all of my Tesco points I've been saving all year so that helped to take a big chunk off it. Yeah, that's it. That's my shopping tangent. So I've done that. I've been home because I had to do like a weekly shop too of like normal food because you still have to eat all the other days. So I've been home. I've dropped all that off and now I have got all the Christmas Day food in the car. I'm going to go to the florist and pick up some flowers for Dan's mum that I've ordered. They're not actually from me. They're from um, Dan's nan. So Dan's mum's mum, she isn't local but wanted to send her some get well soon flowers and was having a bit of trouble online because she's a bit older obviously and said look if I just give you the money would you arrange to get her some flowers so I've done that so I'm going to go pick them up for her and drop them off with the turkey dinner, put everything in her fridge and freezer so that we're ready to go on Christmas day and I can't forget anything. Um, yeah and I think I'm just going to go and spend the morning with her. I'm going to go and coffee a little chat see how she's getting on hear all about the operation and then oh, i did forget one thing in tesco which is really annoying i was meant to get like a gift voucher um and i forgot i don't really want to go back because it's going to be hideous but i need it so i'm gonna have to go somewhere and get like a gift card voucher it's like a cinema voucher ticket thing i need so i think i'm gonna have to go back in there on the way home but it's fine because I can just run in, get that and leave. I don't think it'll be too crazy. I mean, it probably will, but it is what it is. It's because it wasn't on my list and I was very good and I stuck to my list. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I did not take you shopping because it was so busy. And to, to be honest, I took a Costa and I kept having to take my mask down, have a sip of coffee. I couldn't do that and hold a phone. So you missed out on Tesco, I'm afraid, but didn't miss anything too exciting. Um, yeah, so I think this afternoon, well I know this afternoon I'm going to go and work on my first sweater. I started the sleeve last night, picked up all the stitches, did all that malarkey, figured out where I am in the half fisherman's rib pattern, like what row I'm on and all of that jazz. So that's my plan this afternoon. I want to get half of that sleeve done and I've put it on a 9 inch so I should be able to do that because it's pretty quick just whizzing around and as the sleeve gets longer it's actually easier because um, at the moment I'm so close to the the armpit, I have to keep moving the whole garment round with the with the needle as I'm knitting away. But that will become easier, as I say. And yeah, that's literally all I've got to do this afternoon. I'll, I won't sit there and do it all afternoon. I'll probably get up and do a few chores. I have neglected my house. It does need a bit. 
gloomy day here, but I might try and um, hold all of my minis on a needle and show you those because the past few I haven't been able to show you very well because it's been dark. Um, yeah, we're not doing much else today, just a bit of relaxing. We've got a couple of puzzles for Dan's mum. I thought everyone's going to buy her flowers, and I know she loves to do puzzles, but with being home for minimum of six weeks, she's um, going to have quite a bit of time on her hands. So I've got her a couple of Christmassy ones, so we might start one of those. I don't know, she might have already started one, but um, I'm going to take those to her. And yeah, that's it really. I'm going to go and chill for a bit. I have bought her sock that I am knitting on. I'm on the foot of it. I did quite a lot yesterday on the train, so um, I'll probably sit and knit on that as well while I'm chatting with her. She probably will just be like, oh, what are you making? I'll be like, sock. she won't know it's for her. So, um, yeah, won't give it away too much. But I hope you're having a great day, and I will speak to you very soon. Hello, good afternoon. It's half past two almost, and I've been to Dan's mum. She's doing really well. She's, yeah, hobbling around on crutches, really good, um, cracking on, sorry, my watch went off, um, yeah, when I had a cup of coffee with her, just sat and had a chat for a bit, and then she was like, you don't have to stay, if you want to go, you can go, um, so, yeah, she was quite happy, she didn't really need me, to be honest, but I think it's just nice to see somebody, isn't it, during the, the day, because you get a bit bored with your own company. Um, so I came home, well I had to pop back to Tesco's because I forgot that gift voucher and I got it, but Tesco's was hideous, as I knew it would be, but I'm pleased that I got my shopping earlier. Just annoying that I had to go back in for that, but that's okay, um, it's done now and I'm going to do advents here with you and then I am doing this wrapping. My arm's really hurting, um, from my Covid booster, but I've heard that people get worse symptoms the day after, which will be tomorrow, obviously. And I should just get it done while I can. I don't really have anything big and heavy to wrap, so I should be fine, kind of one and a half handed. It's like really hard to lift it up high. So I think also yesterday I forgot to do my tea advent because I've just pulled it out and gone, hmm, I don't remember announcing that flavour. So we'll do two teas today. But I wanted to go through the rest with you. Um, my Yarn for the Soul Advent only has two days left because it finishes tomorrow. But my other two Advents do have Christmas Day goodies. So I don't know why I'm telling you that. <laughs> it's just something I thought of. I was like, oh, maybe they all finish. And I was like, oh no, only one finishes. So I will share them with you on Christmas Day as well. Okay. Ooh. This one's heavier. It's got something inside. Oh, I don't know what it is. Let's do this one first. Um, yeah, let me tell you first. Not a lot's happened. I've come home. I've had lunch. I've watched the end of Miracle on 34th Street. It's my favourite Christmas movie. Well, one of, I think. And it was just on Sky while I was eating my lunch and I put it on and I was like, oh, this is getting me all in the festive mood. Um, but in a minute I think I'm going to watch something Christmassy while I wrap because that will distract me. I've got quite a bit to do and actually I just want to go knit before this arm gets worse. I didn't think about knitting the sleeve on the first sweater and having a bad arm. Maybe I should have just got the jab after Christmas but too late now. It's done. Yarn for the Soul, day number 23. Ooh, here's the colour. So... The lighting isn't great today because it's really dark and grey outside. Um, so this isn't really helpful. So I don't think I'm going to get them all out to show you today because that will that will annoy me if I get them all out and then actually the lighting's no better. So let's hope for a sunnier day tomorrow. I don't know what the weather's going to be like. We're just going to have to wait and see. Because quite honestly, I'm kind of in that wrapping frame of mind so I just want to get that done now but we have a goodie in here I've got this little tube and it's got alpacas on it oh there's pencils I was like where is this going what is this some coloured pencils they're cute so some short ones all different colours how adorable 
very sweet. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why, but lovely all the same. Um, okay, so let's. Yesterday's tea number twenty-two was dark choc chili chai. Not sure if I like that, but we'll give it a go. I've still, I forgot too, I've got my David's tea from Kristen to start. I might have one of those today because I'm feeling really festive. And I wanted to really, it sounds silly, I wanted to really be able to sit down and enjoy them. Let me get them out. I put them in this drawer and I think that's why I half forgot about them. Because they were out of sight, out of mind. I've got this beautiful tea set from my friend Kristen. And she sent them over for me. And they've got all the different like flavours on the back. And they're in the cutest, whoop like little pots they're so adorable and you can see all of the like ingredients in there this one is vanilla cappuccino that sounds amazing and i just love these little pots i actually think that they'd be really good for notions after for like stitch markers and stuff but i think the hardest part is going to choose like which one to have candy cane crush so i'm guessing you use the whole thing in one cup is that right Oh, there's some really good flavours in here. One to two perfect spoons. So maybe I'll just measure it out because you might get two. Two out of each one, maybe. I don't know. I've got a um a bird and blend like measure measuring spoon at her uh, downstairs. I am at home. Downstairs in the kitchen. Maybe I'll just use that to measure it out. But oh caramel shortbread. Like it just looks I don't even know how it can look delicious, but it does. It's just tea, but, well, it's not just tea. Oh, smells insane. So I'm excited for these. I'm gonna go make one of those in a minute. I'm gonna leave them out because I'll forget. I'm so happy that Kristen sent me those. That was so, so kind of her. I always hear people talk of David's tea. I don't actually know if they deliver to the UK. I should have a look. Anyway, while we're on the tea tangent, let's go for 23. 23 is Bucks Fizz. Ooh. Zesty Bucks Fizz bubbles with gold sparkles too. Wow. That's so cool. Oh, that's going to be me sorted for tea for the next year, isn't it? Right, let's do yarn. No, we've done yarn for the soul. Let's do Castle View. Mm, I've got to find... I've got so much stuff. Uh, 23. So this is the last small one because 24 is a big one and 25 is a whole skein, which I'm really excited about. I think that was optional. I don't think, um, I think you can get it with or without the whole skein. Okay, this one is Magnificent Monstera. Monstera? Monstera, which is a plant, isn't it? Monstera. Like a big, yeah, green leafy number. Ooh, yeah, look. I mean, that's not terrible, actually. It's showing you quite well. That is really pretty and vibrant. And by the looks of the last name of the colourway, we're finishing on green. That is beautiful. Oh, I've got like a random hair there. We'll get rid of that. So beautiful. Love it. I think I say that for everyone, but I genuinely, oh, sorry, talking the table. I genuinely have loved all of these advents. They've been so, so nice, and they've actually brought so much joy to December. I'm going to be really December, really December, really sad and disappointed when it's over. Okay, we're going to go for blush yarns. 23 is mint cookies. Is that right? Yeah, it's got to be a greeny mint, surely with maybe some specks of brown, possibly. Let's see. Oh, I might be, I might be right. Or maybe not the uh, light brown. Yeah, light brown. It's definitely a lighty mint green, which you can't really see. So pretty. And then it's got these lovely lighter browns. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
I'm probably just going to shove that one in there. Um, oh yeah, sorry, it's really rocky the table, isn't it? Okay, leave it, Lucy. Just leave it. So they're Advents for the day. That's my rubbish bag over there. <laughs> That's Advents for the day. Um, yeah, not a lot else is going on here. I'm going to try and do some wrapping. I'm not going to try, I'm going to. My mum called me earlier and said, like, oh, how's your week, blah, blah, blah. How are you getting on? What are you up to? Like, oh, I'm just at Dan's mum's, but I'm going to go home and do some wrapping. She's like, you haven't wrapped? It's Christmas Eve, Eve. And I'm like, mum, it's fine. I've got loads of time. She was stressing out. I was like, don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> don't know why. I hope we've got enough wrapping paper. If not, somebody will be getting like birthday paper or something. I think there is enough. I don't think I have that much to wrap, but... That's me. I'm going to go do that now because I really, 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 really want to go sit down and knit. So I'm going to, what's the time? 2.34. I'm going to go wrap for an hour and a bit. I want to be sat downstairs knitting by four. Half three, really. But let's see how fast I can get this done. Um, yeah, I think I'll either watch some Vlogmas I've got a lot of Vlogmas to catch up on. I'll either watch Vlogmas or I'll watch something Christmassy. But let's do this because this isn't getting it done, is it? I'll see you guys in a while. Fast away the old year passes. Fa la 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 la. It's four o'clock and I almost made it. I, sorry, let me hold this properly. I've wrapped all the presents except for Dan's parents. But quite frankly, I'm feeling a bit bleh. I think it's my booster. I'm really hot, clammy, sweaty <laughs> and gross. So I'm calling it a day today. Um, I will just wrap those final few tomorrow or maybe do them tonight with Dan. But I'm going to go and rest for a bit. And by rest, I mean put on a Christmas film and knit. Um, I feel like I'm getting my yarn room back <laughs> slash spare room so that feels good i'm gonna go and put the presents that i've wrapped under the tree ready to gift and yeah i think we're gonna go chill out for a bit not gonna do much else it's getting dark i'm getting tired and yeah i think the boost has got me i was pretty lucky with my first two so i can't really grumble but i kind of regret having it done before christmas <laughs> never mind it's done now we can't change it so let's go and chill out for a couple of hours before Dan gets home. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la.